Howdy guys, my name's Eli and we're shooting a quick video today to show you guys how to remove your tent and replace it. So you're gonna need a few different uh, tools. One would be an NRS strap. These are usually used for securing kayaks to roofs, um, but they work really well for partially compressing your roof. Um, this one's a nine footer and that's usually more than enough. You can also use a ratchet strap if that works better for you. Um, and then we've also got an upholstery wedge. This is for prying the uh, snaps apart if they're being really difficult. And in a really extreme case, you can also use a flathead screwdriver, but if you do use one, just be careful not to damage the snaps. So the first step is gonna to be to open our tent. And then next would be to, uh, if you want, remove your floor panels. Um, it can just be easier to, you know, get in and out of your tent if the floor panels are in there, but that's up to you. This is our second gen tent. Um, we're just gonna snap it out and snap it back in. The process would be sa the same whether you have a first gen tent or our most updated tent with the side doors on it. So what you wanna do first is partially compress your tent. So we'll get about there. Grab our NRS strap and thread it through our grab bar at the top. And then down through the hole in this corner piece on the bottom of our tent. Having a per another person help you with this step can be useful but isn't necessary. Uh, so the NRS strap is gonna keep the tent partially compressed. That way you have a little bit more working room and the tent isn't pulling the snaps tight. Um, so I usually like to work from the top, starting at the front of the tent. Just kind of get your fingers in and pry outwards against the snaps. And they should start to come unsnapped. So work our way up like this. If you need to, you can always. Press your NRS strap a little more. So if you have any snaps that are being difficult like this one, you can take your upholstery wedge or screwdriver, get behind the snap and kind of pry outwards on it. Just like that, it should come right off. And then once you get uh, all the way around on the top and then back to the front, you can start working across Getting these front snaps. Uh, once those are undone, then you can start on the lower section of the tent. This part's a little bit more difficult, it's a little tighter. All right, now that we have the upper section of the tent unsnapped, we're gonna start on the bottom. Um, for the bottom, it's the exact same process. Just start at the front and get your fingers behind the fabric and start unsnapping them. It helps also to undo the bungee before you start. Again, this is another one that's been a little difficult, so we can just take our screwdriver or upholstery wedge, just pop that one out.
All right, now to get these last few snaps across the front of the tent, you'll most likely have to release the roof of the tent so that it's no longer compressed. That way you have a little bit more working space to jam your fingers into this front uh, groove in the extrusion. All right, so now we've got our whole tent unsnapped. We just pull out of the way and then get our replacement tent to put back in. All right, so once you get your new tent, it'll show up rolled up roughly like this. Um, what we wanna do before we install it is unroll it and make sure that the side doors, um, if you have side doors or windows are uh, oriented properly. So having your uh, convertible floor installed is really helpful because you can kind of lay the whole tent across um, the floor. So I found my rear door and I found the top of my door where the zippers end. So I know that that's up. Here's my side window. That is also oriented properly. In our newer tents, there will be a GFC logo here in the corner of the window. As long as you can read the words GFC, you'll know that your tent is oriented properly. So to get this guy installed, we're basically just going to reverse the process of removing it. Uh, we're going to start at the front again, um, but this time starting with the bottom, getting the bottom snapped in, and then we'll move to the top of the tent. So we can leave the roof uh, fully open and then we'll compress it when we go to install the top. So you want to start by installing this front section of the tent because that's going to be the hardest to install uh, and you need the extra room to get your fingers in there and get the snaps on. All right, now that that lower section of the front of the tent is on, we're gonna start on the sides.
So if you guys get to any point on the sides, especially where uh, your snaps aren't quite lining up, they're like, you know, a sixteenth of an inch off and they just feel a little too tight to be able to snap, I'd recommend grabbing farther down the side of the fabric, like maybe count four or five snaps farther down, stretch, pop that snap in, and that'll help make the other ones easier to get in. All right, now that we've got the bottom of the tent installed, we're gonna go ahead and recompress the roof. Um, that way we can reach this upper section of snap and we'll start snapping the upper section of the front of the tent in. So we wanna give ourselves enough room so that we can get into that front section of the tent, but also have it compressed enough where um, the snaps are able to reach up and fully extend to get to the snap. So once I get to about here, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside the tent and start uh, popping the snaps in from the inside just because they're a little easier to reach instead of having to like stand on my tiptoes and then reach in. Goodbye. All right, now that the tent is installed, we can go ahead and release the roof. Done with the NRS strap. Now we're all set, we have a new tent installed in our camper.